application compatibility, I'm not sure if it's optimised for the use under Mac OS X. But they do both work. Um, and if I had more time, I'd show it. And for people here, if you want to see it on Mac OS X, I can show you after. Um, OK. So moving along, um, just to prove that network works, and I'm really crossing my fingers at this point. <laughs> I should explain that the, the network support in, um, in WinUAE Beta 20 uses a SLIR, SLIRP um, beta, really beta driver, which is even more beta than the beta version that it's based on. <laughs> um, so there's plenty of things that can cause issues on the network side. Um, for example, eyebrows, if you try and download files, will freeze. Um, but what I found is that AWeb works really well. Um, speed is acceptable. Browsing is not too bad. Um, so, you know, in terms of usability, um, you can use it. Um, just be aware of the caveats around the limitations on what you can do with it. And obviously, AWeb doesn't do a lot of the more fancy web um, rendering and stuff like that. So there are limits around what it can do for you. Um, but if you're trying to download software for this, it's great. Because basically, because of the ISO thing being really quite annoying to load software on, you can just download it directly from from the browser, from OS Depot, OS4 Depot, or wherever you get your stuff from. All right. OK. Ah, huh. somebody's bleeding over my presentation. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry to the internet. <laughs> All right. So um, let's keep going now. OK. Now. Um, and to answer the other question, yes, I believe there is um, a 4.1 final edition for Classic going to be released as well. So, yes, you will be able to, and it will be a third of the price that I paid for this. So, I think I kind of got the raw end of the deal there. <laughs> but anyway, it's good. It's okay. It doesn't matter. All right. All right. So, what else did I want to show today? Um, okay. I wanted to show some games. So, let's just quickly do that. Uh, games. All right. Um, one thing that you'll find with games when you play them uh, on the system is that there will be considerable lag in the initial initialization of the game, and I think it's got to do with the fact that it's using swap space um, to run. But it's also the CPU has a factor as well. So um, I just wanted to mention that because. You need to be prepared for the fact that stuff does launch slower than it does on an X1000 or on a, a SAM. Sorry? Um, I don't think so. I mean, I reassigned the T partition um, to the hard disk, to, which helps improve performance a little bit. Um, but the actual swap space, yeah, it's just a petition on the system. Sorry? You're still limited by the 128 meg. Yeah, that's right. The 128 meg is still what you've got to play with. Your RAM disk won't use that. It will only use that part. Thank you. The swaps. Yeah. I'm not sure I understand your question, sorry. <laughs>
yeah, yeah, it's certainly worth having having the SCSI enabled. Yeah, and I, I just wasn't willing to do it for the demo because I wanted it to work. <laughs> but I'll, I'll certainly give it a go later. Quite a bit yeah, I've and read I that. Really yeah. 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 Yeah, it does. It does on on this sort of thing where you've got so little memory and so much. You know, anything that can help is is worth doing. So. Um, by all means, um, you know, don't take my word for being gospel on how to build the thing. There's, there's plenty of information out there on how to do it. So just give it a go. Um, all right. But as you can see here, just while I was sitting there mucking around with this, um, obviously, you know, from a speed point of view, um, games work well. Speed's fine. I think somebody stole the Doom samples for this. <laughs> Sounds suspiciously like it. <laughs> but anyway, it works. So, let me just close that off. Alright. Um, one other game I wanted to show was um, a game called Ami Ingenious, which is actually quite an interesting game. Um, DR Derek wrote this. Um, and it's basically based on a board game um, but it's something that runs you know quite well on on this system so I just wanted to quickly show it there's lots of games that don't work well <laughs> so um, you know just be aware of that but in terms of speed you know it, it's reasonably usable and it's certainly enough to give you a good impression of, you know, what it's going to look like. Um, yeah, and yeah, if you're one of those people who wants to try out Amiga OS 4.1 Classic, or, or just just want to get an idea of what it's like, and you know, is it something that I would want to spend, you know, more money to buy a full system to run, like a SAM or a X1000? It's a it's a good entry point to to just try it out and see because it's a very cheap way to do it. Um, so I guess the point that um, I wanted to show was that it does work and it is reasonably well, uh, performs reasonably well, but it does have some limitations around things. Um, you can't use OWB at any decent speed. Um, and then obviously other web browsers like Timberwolf and stuff, you know, <laughs> just forget it. So, um, you know, I, I just wanted to set the expectations as well, just so people are aware of what, what you're going to get. Um, so I wanted to, I guess, uh, I have to keep my presentation a little bit short today because we're running behind time. Um, so I just want to throw it out there if there's any questions or anything that you, people wanted to ask. Yeah, yes. <laughs> Apparently, um, these guys are just discussing that AWeb and Eyebrows had a browser war and, and that uh, Eyebrows won the war, apparently. I respect the even though he's wrong. Yeah, that's right. How about Eyebrows? Eyebrows, you can use it. It works as a browser, but if you try to download any files, they'll freeze if they're over a certain size. Yeah. A web's just better apparently because it doesn't do that. <laughs> well, it's good to have that covered. <laughs> um, yes and no. So um, actually earlier um, during the programming seminar, uh, I actually used this um, PowerPC emulation to do my coding um, because I don't have an Amiga OS 4 machine with me on this trip because it was too big to bring. So um, I actually used uh, this and I used Codebench on this setup um, and I did hit problems using the IDE interface on it. Um, basically, yeah, there's something funny going on with the editor and I'm not able to put in certain characters like delete and enter and up and down arrows, but the normal text keys work. It's a bit odd. Um, but you can edit with another editor and then compile the software and that seems to work fine. Yeah, it works. Yeah, I, I've, I was doing my own coding on here, um, 
with Tony's help the other day. So, um, yeah, it does actually work. Uh, I recommend it, yeah, because I found before I had the swap file, a lot of the games and things wouldn't run. Um, after I put the swap file in place, a lot more of the games were running. Um, I think I think it doesn't have to be that big, to be honest. I mean, I, I did a gig for mine, but I don't. Is there any any other size that you're aware of? It, there's no point in being bigger than two because that's the limit anyway. But I think. Swap file. Actually, I, 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 thought the I thought it was a gig. Yeah, so even if you set something bigger, it's not using so it all anyway. Yeah. Yeah, there's no reason to set it bigger. So, yeah. You can run it bigger if you want, but it's not going to use it. <laughs> yeah, I think we're all guilty of that. <laughs> I think I made one too big, way too big. So that's cool. Um, all right. Is there any other questions? No. Yes. Um, I don't know. <laughs> it's a late 2013 MacBook Pro, so whatever that is, 2.67 or something like that. Yes, it would, but I had to boot in Mac OS first. <laughs> But yeah. Um, that's a good question. I suppose we can find that out. Yeah, well, let's find out. Yeah. But yeah. So is it using more than one core? Yes, it is. So there you go. <laughs> yeah. No, not necessarily, but this is the process that's actually running. So, you know, I don't know. But it's not, it's not thrashing it. I mean, in the sense that I don't think the system is running at full speed in order to run it. I think I've seen plenty of examples of people using i5s to run it as well. So I don't think it's, I don't think the core for them, it's not that bad. Oh, okay. Yeah. So you need at least a dual core to run it. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah. I, I don't know. I, I just bought the fastest Mac out there and I figured it would probably be fast enough. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. No, nah, I understand. Yeah, so, all right. Is there any other questions from here? No? Um, no, it's not straightforward. <laughs> I'd love to say it was, but it really, really isn't. Where are the instructions? I actually do have some instructions for an older version, a beta version of it. Um, there are updated instructions, as was mentioned earlier, to do slightly faster things. Um, you can go to EAB's uh, website and just click on the WinUAE uh, forums, and they actually have an install guide there. Um, I'll just bring it up here. That This is basically the install guide, um, and it shows you exactly what to do, what setups you need, blah, blah, blah. Preparing the hard files, setting up the petition, the um, the configuration of WinUAE, um, 
the actual config files or example ones are included, so you can use them as a base, so you don't have to sit there and do them yourself. Uh, and then just customize the locations of the hard files to your system. Um, and then obviously, you know, there's plenty of discussion here. It basically shows you all of those steps. Um, on the blog that I did uh, for this, I actually showed the screenshots from my setup and how I did it. Um, but the setups are a little bit different now, um, so you can choose however you, whatever you think suits you. Uh, but there's lots of information, there really is. Um, at, when I first started, there was very little information and it was really hard to get information about how to actually configure this correctly. And I think that's why lots of people have lots of different configurations, is because we all build out from different... Yeah, it was really picky about what worked, what didn't, and each beta changed the, the, the game each time. So it's getting better and better. Um, I should warn, though, that the beta version is beta. <laughs> and um, I haven't tried to use it to run normal WinUE emulation after installing it. So I'm not sure how well it works with the other emulations. So my advice in that regard is to have the two side by side. Keep the old one that is stable and just keep the development one separate and run that when you want to use it. Um, and that way you can still go back to the other one if it turns out not to work. Because <laughs> I'm, I'm guessing that with all the optimizations that they've done to make PowerPC work, I'd, I'm guessing there's probably some side effects for old, you know, original WinUE configuration. All right. Um, yeah. All right. Is there any other questions? No? Yes? Maybe? Yeah, um, for those who are actually here, um, I'm sorry, but I don't have time because there, there's other people that need to present today. Um, for the guys who are actually here at AmiWest, I'll show them the FSUAE um, setup and how that actually works on Mac OS X. Um, but I just didn't have time to do both today. All right, so um, thank you very much for your attention today. I'm sorry if this is a bit rambling. I hope it was useful. And um, I guess we'll catch up again another time.